Hi guys, how are you? Good. Uh, so to start, and we can, wh whoever wants to start can take this one. Uh, I love these historical shows where you get to kind of have a little bit of fun with the history, as it were. Um, for you guys, what was it about the specific time period that really made you want to do season one and or like just be a part of this show in general and bring like you know Elizabeth into season two? Well, what attracted me to the material uh, originally is Catherine is unique in these royal show, these royal histories, because she wasn't supposed to be a queen. Mm. She was not born royal. She was constantly told she was ugly. The man she was married to, who she fell in love with, never loved her back. It took her years to get pregnant, and she outlived all but one of her 10 children. I mean, there's nothing, there's nothing, and all of the kind of fairy tale version of royalty didn't happen to her. She was an outsider in this world. And that seemed to me really unique. And it seemed highly relatable to a modern audience to say, how does how does this woman who's not supposed to be there end up ruling France longer than anybody else? Uh, and when you look at it through that prism, uh, what happens to the smartest person in the room if you tell them they don't count because they are female, not pretty, not born to this, and to go from there because their race, religion, whatever, they find a way to win by any means necessary. And so that becomes a, a kind of aspirational feeling for the audience. And I think Queen Elizabeth is her twin in mm. the sense that she was also born, uh, you know, her mother had her head cut off, right? She was not supposed to be the queen. She was another woman who ruled Europe for decades uh, at a time when women were had no legal rights, were not allowed to even own property. And they both figured out a way to do it in very modern ways. And I thought that was what made a unique show. Yeah. And what uh, what do you guys think it is about like this kind of time period? Because like I know with the Tudors, especially, we just can't get enough of them. Like I'm an American and every five minutes we're like, what's the new Tudor thing? What can we watch? That's the Tudors. Like we just really love it. Well, it, it It's a, a little bit. It's kind of a little related to why can't we get enough of Taylor Swift and Kelsey Travis? I mean, is it really their amazing talent or are, or are they just the royals of our day for us? It's the whole idea of following people and the wish fulfillment of these people have unlimited money, unlimited power, uh, can kind of give vent to the best versions of themselves and also the most horrible versions of themselves. Um, so isn't that who we would all kind of like to be is to do whatever we want to do. I yeah. think we're fascinated we're fascinated by what people look like if they can do anything. Yes. They indulge every whim. What does that look like? Uh, they can build these houses, wear whatever they want, eat whatever they want, behead whoever they want go to bed with whoever they want. What is yeah, that? I mean, why are we so fascinated with Jeff Bezos, with Elon Musk, with, you know, what is Bill Gates eating for breakfast, uh, et cetera? Yeah. Um, and for last quick question, going into season two, I know like fans eat that first season up and we're obsessed with it, but what are you guys the most excited about for them to see heading into season two? Well, I think Catherine, uh, we learned, we watched Catherine learn how to play the game and mm -hmm. learn how to play it better than anybody. In season two, she has a new set of challenges, one of which are her children, for whom she's ostensibly done everything, but are going to reflect her back to her, her faults and her strengths, um, and um, challenge her in ways she didn't expect. And then I think, look, this was not by design. Um, this was history that the most interesting, most powerful, most dynamic people were women. And she's faced with a true equal adversary in, in Queen Elizabeth, uh, in, in this prophet figure played by Isabel Jasper Jones. And it's really a season about three queens in their way, uh, going to battle. So it was great to watch her run rings around the men who thought they were smarter than her. And now she's running, now she's up against people who, who have the same skill set. Yeah. Um, I can't wait for season two to come out. And thank you guys so much for talking with me today. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Rachel. Bye. Thanks, guys.